Oh, man. Um, people, people, now this is what you don't do on the job. See, we're literally catching her sleeping on the job. That's the person that's supposed to be interviewing me right now. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Look, yeah, you on camera, baby. She gonna be mad. She Tell her to be, smile for the camera. She gonna be pissed. Tell her to smile for the camera. The interview she's doing before me must be super fucking boring. Say it again. The interview that she's doing before me Gotta be super fucking boring. I feel for you, whoever artist, whoever you, you are. That you look at that, look at that. That's what they doing when they interview you. Okay, you're not gonna sell any fucking thing if the per. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Tell you the truth, they're probably high because the song in here when we came in. So it's probably it probably ain't you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Buy my album. <laughs> oh poor baby. She, she, she looks like she is not having I a good time. Then. You good? She had a knock on the window? <laughs> That's why I said, tell her to smile for the camera. She, it's, it's over with. <laughs> Look. <laughs> 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 yeah, we got her. Now, now see, now I can uh, try to extort some money out of her to erase that. Yeah, 1500 easy. Oh, they're still on the phone with those people. Say it again. They're still on the phone interviewing that guy. They told me I had to be quiet. So I take back all those apologies. Nigga, you suck. <laughs> Sorry. I'm just saying. Put whisper in the talk so we can hear it. My bad. So I'm just saying, whoever you are that, that, that Miss Reno Rain is interviewing, and matter of fact, I'm gonna help you figure out who you are on that, because I can't see you. Um, once again, the date today is um, uh, December 5th, 2015, and it is approximately 4.08. So if you had an interview with Reno Rain around that time, she's sleeping. Yeah, she's sleeping on you. Literally. Yeah. <laughs> You're putting her to sleep. Um, once again, I'm gonna put out like a like a like a independent artist self help video, you know, because some of you niggas just need help, and you can't help yourself, so I gotta help yourself, you know. So I'm gonna help you become more of a people person. When I say that, I mean somebody that people actually fucking like, you know. Um, because I guarantee you, if you pop in a one CD and you're not going to sleep, I don't make the kind of music that you that you doze off to, you know. I probably have like maybe one or two sexually orientated R. Kelly-ish type songs, you know? And when I say R. Kelly-ish, I don't mean like baby kneel down so I can pee on you kind of thing. I mean like baby making music, you know? You'll hear that on the radio too. You ain't gonna have a choice. I'm, 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 I'm looking to be one of those cats that you 
that she just don't like. You know what I'm saying? That's, I want to be one of them niggas like, man, this shit's on the radio again? Yeah, that's me. Maybe that's that's, that's going to be me. I'm going to be the song that you hate, the song that you can't fucking get away from. Well, let me take a little walk over here. We got a little time since since whoever you are is boring. Yeah, the, the, the DJ's to death. I'm thinking about since I'm in here in the room around all this music equipment. I'm thinking about cutting the track right now, actually. I got my music back in the car. That's another thing you never... Drum sets? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, and that's another thing for you major labels. Your boy is signed under uh, Universal at the moment. That's only, only for distribution deal. Yes, I got major distribution. And nigga, I'm, I'm still an indie artist. You can do that when you look as fly as I do. But no, for real. Um, <laughs> Bro, you never leave home without your 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 equipment, without something. Even if you're a small timer, you know what I'm saying? If all you got is a fucking demo with two songs and a beat on it, keep that at all times. Make copies of it and keep it at all times. Cause whenever you tell people, oh yeah, I rap, I do music, you already know what the next question is. You rap? Well let me hear something. Every time, it never fails. That question comes in many forms, but they always want to hear what you can do at that moment. So, my suggestion is that you keep something on you. Um, once again, Why does it look blurry to me, or is it my contacts? Sorry, my camera woman is having technicals, technical difficulties. With her lenses. <laughs> <laughs> um, I really, 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 really want to hop on this drum set, because once again, something that y'all don't know about your boy, is that I am a one-man band. Seriously, I can play several instruments. I can sing. And I do rock music. Not only do I do rock music, here's a little secret that nobody, well, my friends know. Rock music is actually my favorite genre of music. Um, and that's real talk. I know I'm a hip-hop artist, but... What was that again? You boy one? <laughs> I, um... My favorite genre of music is actually rock music. And uh, that's some real talk right there, I'm not bullshitting. I mean, I know I'm a hip hop artist, you know, I, I make the, 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 the clubbish bumping in the car type music, but when I'm at home, I listen to Gus Mag, Five Finger Death Punch. I can vouch for that. Voice. So actually, mm -hmm. you're black on the outside, but white on the inside, is that what you're saying? Music has no color, Miss Camera Woman. <laughs> Music is a spirit. I'm just saying. You prefer <laughs> yeah. to listen to white music. Rock. I prefer, yeah. I prefer to. And you know what? Here's another piece of truth for y'all. Matter of fact, we're just going to have to interview right now. I'm going to just tell her that she's fired. <laughs> <laughs> Real talk. Once again, to all of you hip hoppers, all of you rappers, all of you people that put that bullshit on the radio, you are primarily the reason I listen to rock music. And I'm not saying that to be funny or mean, I'm being real. Because it's a shame, just like now. So like I said, it's 2015. I just got out the pen. For those of you who don't know, I've been a couple times. But I just got out again. The hardest thing on the radio, just now, just now when I was leaving, the hardest thing on the radio was Rihanna. And I'm not, laugh all you want to, but I'm serious. You know that song? Bitch better have my money. Who oh, y'all think y'all frontin' on? That was the hardest shit on the radio. So when a nigga has to, um, Go to an R&B singer to get something hard. That means you niggas is really fucking up. I mean, you're, they're starving for a one. Why do you think they? they, they, they I basically got kidnapped and forced to come here. You know what I'm saying? They're, they're starving for a real nigga right now. You know what I'm saying? And that's your fault. So in order for me to get my hardcore kick, because I love hardcore music, no matter what genre of music it is, it has to be hardcore. And right now, the white boys is doing it. Rock music, hard. You know what I'm saying? Any shout outs to it? With the exception of, oh yeah, of course I can have shout outs, man. First off, let me go back a little bit. Shout out to my boys Crossfade, who I met in Little Rock, Arkansas. They was cool as fuck. They want some weed. And I just, you know, knew somebody that knew somebody that knew me to get it, you know. <laughs> and um, yeah, so Crossfade, most definitely. Um, Jada Pinkett, how you doing, Ma? Wicked Wisdom. You probably don't remember me, because, you know, I heard you. There's a lot of rumors going on about you, Miss Jada. I love you though, I love you. But if they true, call me. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I made Jada Pinkett too. She's the lead singer of a rock band. See, most of you niggas don't even know that. Jada Pinkett, the little one. Lead singer of a rock band, Wicked Wisdom, look it up. 
She does great live shows, but the CD sucked. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I need a filter. Whoever's editing this, edit that out, because she ain't gonna call me if she hear me say that, you know, and I'm trying to hang something. So, um, but yeah, rock music, favorite music, man, because they go hard. And just like I said, it's a shame when R&B singers are going harder than you so-called gangster rappers. But I guess gangster rap is is uh, dying out. I'm the last of the Mohicans, it looks like. Oh, shout out to my boy Sack Pacino, holding it down in Georgia, Columbus, stand up. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing it real big right now. Pepperhound, of course. Uh, you know. You wanna want me to zoom in on that? Oh yeah, you wanna get that? Uh oh, hold on, mm. hold on, <laughs> hold on. Be still. There you go. There you go. Paper hound. Okay. See that paper hound, baby? That's a paper hound hat. For those who don't know, you should know, so you're gonna know. Paper hound is uh, the label that has uh, signed your boy. You know, and unless you other uh, labels come with at least two or three extra pennies than what they're giving me, you know, don't even call my cell phone. Uh, don't send me no letters, no smoke signals, none of that, because I'm happy with Paper Hound, you know what I'm saying? We're, um, like right now, we're doing it, you know what I'm saying? We're making dozens of dollars, you know what I'm saying? Just <laughs> throwing ones everywhere. You know what I'm said dozens of dollars. <laughs> dozens of dollars. Wow. <laughs> That's <funny>. Okay. <laughs> We ain't making hundreds or thousands, but we got dozens, nigga. We can, we can, we can go to Walmart, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Yeah, two shopping carts. For real. <laughs> yeah, we straight, you know what I mean? We straight. So, yeah. I know I keep right. looking at this, 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 um, this drum set. I just really want to... Beat on it? I do, so bad. And you know what? The good thing is they can't. When you have star power, I'm not saying that I'm some, you know, Jay Z, Lil Wayne type thing, but I have enough power to where they want me here. And just like I said, it's about four something. We're supposed to be here at twelve thirty, you know. But instead, of, that wasn't our call. They yeah. changed it. Yeah, they did. Cause, but then after they changed it, we took our time, and now it's like that's well, just, what was just just come whenever you like, you know. You can do that when you have a little bit of <coughs> to you. So until you niggas get that little bit of, you know, you niggas are two or three minutes late, they didn't are next. <laughs> Right now I am inside the uh, the little lobby waiting area of K Sun uh, Studios, which is ninety five point nine. Thank you. Ninety five point nine. That's the little thing. <laughs> We're in Wichita, Kansas, and uh, I'm getting ready to have a little radio interview with uh, the lovely Miss Reno Rain. Um, we go way back. We served in Vietnam together and shit. You know what I'm saying? She. Drug me through the jungle when I they got shot, you know what I mean? Um, so 
I'm just here to do a little interview with her, you know what I'm saying? See what kind of crazy questions they got for me. You know what I'm saying? Like how many baby mamas you got? You know what I'm saying? When's you running for president? You know? Where do we at? You know, the usual questions that people ask. <laughs> so, you know, we'll, uh, we will be, uh... What's today? Man, it's Saturday, December 5th, my bad. 2015. It's about to be 2016, yo. Your boy has been in the game, legally, for 13 going on 14 years. And this coming year, 2016, is going to be my first national album. But if you're watching this, you already know that because you probably didn't bought the fucking thing. So, you know, but it took that long. For people that don't know, it took me forever to get where I'm at. So, if, if you do music out there, you singing, rapping, making beats, or beating on tables, I don't know, whatever the hell you do, just stay at it, because this shit don't come easy. So when your folks and your girlfriend, baby mom, and all them people is telling you to get a real fucking job and grow up and be a man and all that shit, don't listen to none of that shit, because eventually it will pay off, for real. Um, you know what I'm saying? For real, if, if people did that, Mike wouldn't be, you know what I'm saying, Mike wouldn't be who he is. Fucking Jay-Z wouldn't have been who he was. Dr. Dre wouldn't be who he was. I mean, you seen the movie, Straight Outta Compton? Nigga had baby mom, and, you know what I'm saying? People bitching at him too, mom kicked him out. Nigga still did his thing, now he's worth a billion dollars. So yeah, keep doing your thing. Right now we're gonna sign off because I gotta text some people and I don't wanna be too rude to y'all. So, it's your boy one. <laughs>